So, do you know anything about gardening? Um, I know the concept. Oh, goodness, it's getting later uh, quicker than I thought it would. Um, uh, do you want to just spend the night at my house real quick and then we can head over to yours? Oh, uh, certainly. Okay, awesome. Um, are you, are you okay with sharing a bed? I mean, there's, it's technically, it's, it's a king bed, so there's quite a bit of space in between us. I'm perfectly fine with that, do not fear. Ah, okay. <sighs> Reminds me of the early days when we all laid down in the same room together, more or less. <laughs> True. It's nice to have someone to spend the night with, honestly. It feels almost comforting knowing that I'm not by myself and not sick and hopefully won't be waking up at 4 a.m. with a, like, a dry cough. <laughs> it is comforting, too. My ex has often been out and about of the house, so it almost feels as if I'm living alone these days. We're together right now. But we are. <sighs> mm. <sighs> oh, this is the, the first morning. with such certainty. <laughs> yeah. This is the first morning I haven't been so sore when I've woken up. Well, this is <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Progress. I think that speaks volumes about whether or not... Um, You've been truly cured. Yeah, doesn't seem temporary so far. Um, okay, so I have um, I have chili pepper seeds. I have strawberry seeds. I have corn seeds, wheat seeds. I have quite a bit of wheat seeds actually, and those are the most bountiful to just be able to plant a ton of those plants. Um, I also have blueberry seeds and lettuce seeds. Do any of those suit your fancy? I can mm. give you a little bit of everything if you'd like. I'm intrigued mostly with strawberries, blueberries, and wheat. Uh, strawberries, blueberries, and wheat. Awesome, will do. Oh my lord, you, you've been collecting quite a bit. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> um, oh, let me get you a hoe so we can uh, uh, basically uh, work up till the dirt the in earth. the ground. Yes, till the earth. Let's see, um, it should be upstairs. I actually might have just an extra one, one second. Uh, oh, I do. I have a practically brand new one that was up in the chest. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I'm still quite a bit, um, well, not very well experienced at making my own tools. They're not pretty in any case. <laughs> uh, well, I... I've kind of gotten a little bit better about it. I, I've been reading on how to. Um, a lot of the books at the library are actually, like, um, almost like, a tutorial books if that makes sense on Ooh, how to do certain things um i'm assuming since obviously there's no google in this world it's the equivalent of being able to just be like oh how do i do this and you can just go to it's basically like a how-to section and um i've been using that to uh learn a lot of different skills hello buddies good morning hello puddle hello pal uh, oh, it's good to see you lot. I'm looking at the area and I definitely, I have a bucket on me, so no worries about that. I can move water up here if need be, but this side yard seems like a perfect little garden area. Indeed, I'm intending to make a bit of a patioed area. My bird, yes. uh, Fennec, I'm thinking would enjoy wandering the outdoors as Puddle and Pear do. No. But for now, I have to keep them within the boundaries of the home. <laughs> They're actually that chicken that was stuck in the river quite that while ago. I finally decided oh. to fish them out. They didn't seem capable of getting out on their own. Oh, that's very sweet of you. <laughs> well, nevertheless, uh, they're getting into quite everything. So, <laughs> hopefully, uh, they'll be mindful of the garden. Uh, where would you like the garden, since you do plan on building a mm. patio area? Well, I do think it's not necessarily a patio that I'm thinking of building. Just a gated enclosure, more so. Okay. I suppose just a garden in general. So within this area, perhaps? Um, okay, sounds good. I'm gonna grab you some water real quick um, oh, so I that think. it can keep the uh, the crops hydrated. If you put just a little bit of like, almost like a little puddle next to the crops, it Here's helps the them puddle. from uh, drying out during uh, droughts and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. would it work if I put it like right about here and then you can kind of build in all directions around it as much as you'd Indeed. like? And then you can also put a trap door on top of it so that you can walk over it if uh, you don't want to worry about falling Ooh, into the puddle. I see. That is yes. rather clever. So you simply attempt to work the earth then for Good ideal job. planting. Um, you just kind of want to make sure you're in fairly straight lines so that when you plant the seeds, it's as, um, you know, uniform as possible. I do say. <laughs> Good job. 
My line's not exactly as straight as yours, but I, th I think I'll get to it within time. I think that you did a very good job, Svana. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So the next step is to plant the seeds, is it not? Yes. Good job. And oh, you see how the soil's getting a little darker in some spots? Indeed, that means I it do. is perfect condition to start growing the seeds. So, um, oh. as the soil darkens, it means that they will grow faster. I see. Yes. So you simply want to make sure the seeds are within the soil properly. Perfect. So that they will grow big and strong. Very nice. Oh, look, see, that one's already growing because of the, the darkened <gasps> soil. Oh, it is. <laughs> what? So lovely. I don't know why, but it's very satisfying to see it grow. And as the days grow on, you'll be able to harvest it in the mornings. Just make sure to uh, weed the garden occasionally. Um, normally when you're harvesting the fruits and veggies, you'll find the weeds just then and you can just pluck them out. Anything that basically is not the plant that is growing around it can kind of make it more cramped in there and you just want to get those out for it. I see. Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. It sounds simple <laughs> enough, but an enjoyable task. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it. If you ever need any more seeds, come by and I can I can see if I have any more. I think Bonnie actually sells seeds, so maybe we'll go to her and find even if more seeds. If we can talk to her for longer than a minute. <laughs> yeah. Her. What did she say she had to do? She had to rotate something? I don't even... Some sort of crimson plant? I Yeah. I, I'm curious what that is. I've never heard of that before. Perhaps we can go and inquire some other time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, anyways, I now that I'm feeling good, I want to continue the railroad. Actually, the railroad? Uh, oh, yeah. Let me let me show you it real quick. Um, it is right over here. It's for the people that live across town, so it's not too too far of a walk for them. Um, they can just go to the the railway and ride all the way from uptown to downtown. Oh, I see. What I'm a convenient still idea. Collecting railroads, though which seems I'm only about maybe a quarter of the way through. <laughs> so well, I shall keep a lookout for any rails then to awesome. aid in your journey. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, it, it should make things a lot easier, especially because I have a feeling us moving closer to, you know, us training and wanting to become better at stuff. I, I have a feeling that we're going to be able to fight them a lot sooner than most of us think. So mm -hmm. I want to make sure that when we're doing meetings and stuff, it's very easy for people to be able to come over. Perhaps we should introduce a sort of check system where every now and then, perhaps every other week, we check in on our progress to see how, mo yeah. how much we've grown, more or less. Yeah, that would be a very good idea. <laughs> uh, we'll definitely have to do that. Um, I, I might do some like telepathy updates of like, <laughs> send me a letter and letting me know how, how much better you're doing or uh, come to the guild hall and let me know any progress on finding what your strengths are in fighting. The casual inquiry of how did he, are we down for a group training session on this <laughs> yeah. Sunday or whatnot? Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's certainly much faster than the mail. Oh, definitively. I, I think that it is the fastest method I've ever been able to contact people at. <laughs> Even faster than a text. I honestly, I think so. It does, it, since it's not relying on anything, any third party um, uh, thing being uh, in full bars or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, well anyways. It certainly seems as if you were going to play a valuable support role. Oh, I mean, I just hope that I can contribute, at least. I think you've contributed more than enough. I mean, if you do not recall in the beginning, you more or less were what, well, you brought us together. I'm sure we would have, you know, found our way with or without you, but the fact is, we became friends, I think, because of you. At least that's what I like to think. Oh, well, that's very flattering. Thank you, Svana. I simply wish to speak the truth. <laughs> well, you have done amazing things, making sure that not only did you... Uh, attempt to boost morale with the with the party which it did work it did work up until the ending but that was not your fault and you've just been so you're very logical analytical almost and it, it's good to have that on the team since i'm you know a very optimistic person it it helps um 
it helps balance that out, I feel. If my analytical brain can do anything of value, I will give it my all. <laughs> um, I, I like your coat, by the way. I know I've never really commented on it, but I just, I, I do, I do think that it is um, quite professional and fits the, um, fits the role you play very, very well. In it stars. was my father's before it became mine. Oh. So he often wore it when he was out doing a case. He very much liked the imagery of a typical detective, and I find myself being fond of a similar thing. <laughs> oh, that's... I, I, I'm, I'm glad you have a good relationship with your family, and I, I'm excited for the day you get back to them. I am too. Well, anyways... Uh, I should probably go gather resources and try to make any progress make I up, can on this. <laughs> make up for lost time and all that. Exactly. I was staring at my armor in my chest and I was like, ugh, I haven't touched that since I fell ill and I, it feels so wrong, you know? I feel like I should be doing things. I need to look into getting some armor myself, so I'll likely need to have another conversation with Kryn one of these days. <laughs> I'm perfectly capable of gathering the material, but if I want it to be far more functioning than I'm capable of making it, I will, simp I will certainly need his handiwork. Yeah, I think that he would definitely be able to help you. Especially after you told me earlier, apparently he's opened up a little bit around you. I suppose I wouldn't think any more so than anyone else. I mean, the only experience I've had talking with him, he pushed us out of the store. So I think he might have warmed up to you more than most people from the looks of it. Thinking on it in that light, you may be correct. <laughs> Although I'm unused to such a thing, but you know. You're quite charming, Svana. Don't cut yourself short. Charming. I shall keep that in mind, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, y you have a good night. Take good care of Puddle and Pear for me. I most certainly will, and feel free to stop by and say hello to them at any time you wish. It is on the way to the guild hall, after all. It is. It is very a convenient location to live I at. I live right across. <laughs> I hardly have to travel at all. Yes. Uh, do, are you sure? Are you sure? I don't need to build a little railroad just directly in the window. <laughs> you know? I mean, perhaps. But you never know when I'll feel particularly lazy one of these days. Of course, of course. Straight from your bed, you can just hop right in. <laughs> Takes you right up to the window. <laughs> well, y you have a good night, Svana. You too, Azimi. Pleasant as always. <sighs> <sighs> She's quite the individual, isn't she? <laughs> Hope her garden goes well. 